Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra for the month of June. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is for at any time in June, and it may or may not be for you, and I am sorry for the delay. My life has been crazy. It has been crazy. Um, so, here we go. This is for Libra. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and we're going to see what comes up, and then we're going to use this deck right here. What does Libra need to know for the month of June? What's coming up for Libra? Ooh, yikes, hostilities. You know, I can't, I mean, I can't change it. I can't put it back in the deck. It is what it is. So somebody's dealing with some hostilities. Either you're feeling hostile or you're dealing with a hostile person or you're needing to, you know, let go of some hostilities, whatever it is. I mean, this kind of looks like we got somebody here that is in protection mode, right? It's like this guy's weapon is drawn and he's ready to fight or he's ready to battle. So... You may be dealing with some sort of battles this month. Uh, I mean, I can't can't throw it back in there. I'd like to, but I can't. Um, but, you know, this guy is a warrior. He's very strong. So, you know, you have the strength to persevere through whatever this is. All right? Uh, maybe you just need to protect yourself. Maybe you do. Maybe you need to put your guard up. Libra. What do we got for Libra? Mm. Well, there definitely is some hostilities here. Okay. We got somebody here that may be resentful, bitter, um, definitely some hostilities. There's no doubt about it. Um, and a need to, you know, I, I see you guys are, you're on the defensive. You are on the defensive. There's no doubt about it. And this, uh, something needs to be dropped. Something needs to be let go of. I think that uh, we got somebody here that is absolutely overwhelmed. And there's something that needs to be let go of. You need to break free from something. You definitely need to let go of something, okay? There's there's a need to, you know, it's like you guys are, are being, you may be overly criticized. You may be feeling like you're being attacked. You may be under attack, okay? Or you're feeling like you're under attack. And you got, and it's like you, you're feeling the need to really you know, protect yourself. Um, you're probably dealing with an individual who's emotionally unavailable, somebody that doesn't have good intentions, or somebody that has shut down their feelings. They've withdrawn, they're not communicating, they're not putting in any effort, they're, they're not emotionally available. The King of Cups reversed. You're dealing with somebody, or it's you. These can go vice versa. We got somebody here that is shutting down their emotions. You know? They're not acting out of love, whatever it is, and they're causing some sort of, you may be really upset. There could be some tears, you know, there's emotional, it's almost like emotional overload here. This car stuck to my hand. I just, I lotioned up like I do before every reading. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is prosperity, it's legacy. It's completion, though. There could be a change in your home. This is the, this, the completion of something. And this is a completion as well. Somebody could be leaving, moving, moving home, changing their home, or there could be a change in your family dynamic that is making you hostile, that has made you upset. 
there's discontent here. You're probably not receiving. You may be overanalyzing. You may not be feeling love. There could be a lost opportunity. You may be looking for more. Looking for answers, right? You're looking for answers. Somebody's moving or somebody has moved on. There's somebody could have just moved out of, they have may have moved into another relationship or they've really moved. They've moved out of sight, out of sight, you know, they, they're gone. You know, whether it's you or the other person. Whatever this is, it is going to allow you to move in a new direction, but you may not be happy about it. Somebody is moving in a new direction. Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, could be dealing with another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Either way, we have somebody here that is has made a decision. Somebody has made a decision and there's nothing you can do about it. Whether it's you that or they, there's nothing they can do about it. Somebody has made a decision and it's unchangeable. It's like the decision has been made. There's no more growth. There's no more excitement. It's, it's like they've been weighed down long enough. Yeah, somebody has been weighed down long enough. And it's like they want more. I want more. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to give their energy to, you know, work with somebody else. I'm, I'm moving in a new direction. I'm going to go work with somebody else. Somebody has decided, you know, I'm going to take back control. I'm going to, I'm, I'm heading in a new direction. So we got, whether it's you or the, or the person that you're dealing with. And there's, there's discontent and sadness and anger and resent and bitterness over this loss. Whatever it is. Whoever you are dealing, this is in your external environment. This is working with somebody else. This is teamwork, working together with somebody else. We got somebody here that is deciding. They have made a decision to work with somebody else. I'm taking back control of my life, and I'm shutting down emotionally in one direction. Somebody is headed in a new direction. Um, there could be a reconnection with somebody that you have known before. There's a lot of memories coming up. Memories resurfacing. There could be a lot of thinking about your childhood, thinking about the past. How things used to be. There's conflict. There's tension. And there's a tower moment. There's some sort of major upheaval that changes Everything. Your life is about to change. And it may even, it may hurt because somebody's going to get stung. It's going to sting. It is going to sting. It's probably going to make you feel very emotional, whatever this is. I think there's a big change coming or a big change has happened that has caused, you know, a lot of internal emotions. It's going to lead you. It's going to, it's going to push you. It's going to push you in a new direction. Somebody has made a decision to, this decision is, I mean, this guy, he, there's no stopping him. Somebody has made a decision to stop living in this darkness. I got to end this difficult situation. So that's what we got here. Somebody is, is, is giving up on, you know, 
the circumstances that they have been stuck in. It's like, I'm not going to live here anymore. I'm not going to live here anymore. I don't want to live here anymore. Somebody is making a conscious change to let go. I think let go of a... Oh, I think it's an old relationship. I do. I think it is an old relationship. And I don't think that it's something that you can avoid. It's You can't avoid this change. The, the tower. You can't avoid this change from happening. Yeah, somebody's not focusing on an old relationship anymore. They're not. They're not. It's like you can't. There's no... They're turning away. It's like a family dynamic is changing. That's what I got here. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion. I think it's a, it's a change in your family. It's a change in your home environment. It's a change. It's a major change. It's, it is. A change of establishment as well. Somebody's moving and literally moving. Whether it's you or the other person, they're moving. And it's going to cause major upset. There's no peace where they've been and they haven't been at peace. They haven't had their, their happiness. And it's like they can't carry this anymore. They can't carry this overwhelming feeling. I can't I can't live here anymore. I just can't live here anymore. So, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Things have been delayed. Somebody hasn't been being practical. Somebody's putting something to a complete halt. A relationship. Investing in a relationship is like they're putting it to a... Somebody is, is putting something to a complete halt. This is done. Completion, completion, com this is completely done. There's no more forward movement here. None. I can't, this, there's no more forward movement here. That is the meaning of this card reversed. Halt. Something is coming to a complete halt. There's gonna. It's like communication done, movement done. We have somebody here that has been resisting change, and and, and they may have been obsessed. They may have hung on to an unjust situation. This is unfair. It's not fair. It's not fair. But the imbalance that this has caused has been overwhelming. And it's time to bring balance back to your life. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to... start your new life. <laughs> it's time for you to start your new life. This is a blessing in disguise. This is a blessing in disguise. The struggle, the pain that you are, have gone through is, is going to bring you some sort of blessing. Trust me, it is. You have a blessing coming after, I think there's been some serious suffering here. Somebody has been obsessed with holding on to something that really has been a false sense of security. It's been a disaster. And now we have this new life, okay? We have this new beginning here. I think we have somebody here that is going to be... I mean, these are soulmates right here. They're going to be, this is a, this is like a soulmate connection. This is, this person is deciding to work together with somebody else. And I think they're going to unite with this true soulmate. I do. I do. But it's not, it's not who, it's not the one that you have been holding on to. Okay. It's not. It's not the false sense of security that you have been holding on to. It's not. That didn't work out because there's there's somebody else that you are better suited for. That's what this is. Somebody has been obsessed with holding on to something that doesn't really serve them. It doesn't bring them, you know, anything fair and just. It doesn't. They've been holding on to a false contract with that justice reverse. They have. This is, okay, this is a false contract. Somebody has been holding, seriously, 
somebody has been holding on to a false soulmate contract that wasn't meant to be when they have somebody else. And that's what we got going on here. Whether it's you or the person that you are hostile about. We have somebody that is deciding to move in a new direction towards their true soulmate. And that's what we got going on here. Anyway, I think somebody is is letting go, whether they like it or not. Change is happening. One cycle with these three tens is coming to a complete halt. It's over. It's done. And you're probably going to be on the, on the defensive about it because change is scary. Change isn't easy. Letting go isn't easy. You're probably going to be very conflicted about it. Somebody's very conflicted about it. But we have a birth of a new life here. Change is scary. It is. Somebody has been reluctant to take that next step, going back and forth, back and forth with letting go, going back and forth with acceptance. Somebody has made some poor decisions, which has caused upheaval in their life. Probably the poor decision. Huh? I don't know why. Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody's been holding on to a... a you know, maybe it's an unrequited love situation where it was one-sided. Oh, my God. Yeah, somebody has been wanting to have a relationship with the wrong one. Oh, jeez, some girl. Somebody is giving up on a loveless situation that's all there is to it they're not in love or you're not in love it's like there's no room there's no relationship growth here there's no reciprocation right there's, this isn't love this isn't love this isn't i'm sorry i'm sorry but this is the birth of love this is a birth of a new life this is you know a falling in love with your with with somebody new somebody that is meant this is a perfect match in your new your new life, okay? You may be feeling like you are being attacked or the other person by an ex, okay? Or the ex may be feeling like they're attacked. This is we got somebody here that you know there's there there there's a relationship here, unfortunately, that is or has gone south okay it's gone south whether it's a romantic relationship or it's a family issue you know it could be you know with your because there's family in this mix okay so this could be in your family it could be a mother could be a father could be a child could be anything but there's a there's a change in the home there's a change in the family dynamic That's what I see. There's a change at home. There could be a divorce or a split coming. Seriously. But whatever this is, it's a blessing because it's going to lead you it leads you towards something more successful with that chariot card. It's going to lead you towards victory and success. It, it may bring you peace in the end. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, we have Taurus, 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 Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, we have Libra, we have Scorpio, we have everybody, it doesn't really matter, but this is going to bring you stability, it is, I really feel as though you're, you're going to get some sort of gain out of this, Libra. You are going to get some, look at, look at it. It's, it's going to, maybe you're going to get some money. There's always a reward. The, you always get a reward. You do. You get a reward for your suffering. You do. You do. 
true suffering brings true growth. There is definitely going to be a reward. Some sort of big reward is coming. Even if it's stability. Even if it's security. We have somebody here that is, is going to be taking the most practical, responsible approach. Somebody has been wasting their time holding on to this false sense of security, but it's like you can't. There's nothing you can do now. The universe is in control. You may not be prepared. Maybe you weren't prepared for this, this drastic change. I think there's been a lot of bickering. There's been a lot of fighting. But whatever this is, whatever this change is that's happening, it's going to bring you something better. Mm -hmm. Whew. Two of Swords. This is divided loyalty. Painful, painful, painful. I feel like you guys are really stuck. You're really stuck in, in, in deciding, you know, do I, do I really move forward? Do I really let go? Who do I go with? What do I do? You may have to make a decision. A painful decision, a stressful decision. Maybe, you know, do I go with my mother? Do I go with my father? I don't know what that means. I don't know, because I saw mother and father right here. It doesn't have to be. Obviously, that's only going to resonate with a few. Um, <laughs> Somebody's blocking their emotions. In denial. It's like inability. We got somebody here that doesn't want to accept the truth even though they know the truth. It's time to work with somebody else. It's time to go someplace else, whatever that means. And I think the universe is going to push you in a new direction, which is going to lead you towards victory. Some sort of blessing is coming. I think it's going to be painful, though. I think you're going to be facing some sort of painful truth that, you know, it feels like ties are being severed for good. This cycle is completing for good. Because you have a more stable, secure, long-term option coming into your life. It's, it's being brought to you via the universe. It's time for your new life. And somebody has been wasting their time holding on to this false sense of security. And it's like now they've been stung. They've been they've been stung. Seven of Swords. This is the truth coming out, the truth being revealed. The truth can no longer be hidden. There's no going back, put it that way. There's no going back. There's grieving. You have a better opportunity here. You do. Somebody has been stuck, like I said, sacrificing themselves needlessly for who knows why. Resisting change. I think you're, you may be struggling. You may be struggling to... Accept the new option because memories of the past are really in focus, okay? You probably have this new, bigger, better, beautiful option, but in order to accept it, in order to, you know, really go in that direction, you have to let go of whatever this was. Oh, 
heartache. So you guys are really suffering. This is serious suffering here. Painful. Heartburn. Definitely got some heartburn going on here. Heartburn over starting your new life may make you feel ill. I mean, you think about it, she's green. You may feel ill. You may feel ill that, you know, all of this is happening and you have to accept that something is over. It's really over. Something is over. There's hostilities here, last card. It is going to bring you wish fulfillment. This is a blessing in disguise. You have a blessing coming and you don't even know it. You don't even see it. You know, rejection is God's protection. And this is protection. It's like heaven has protected you from some sort of... Disaster. By causing a loss. We have a blessing, okay? We have a blessing coming in. It's like you have been protected. You may have been, you, you may have been protected by somebody that has already passed away. Could be a mother, could be a father. Somebody has, it's like somebody has seen your suffering And now, and now it's time for you to complete this cycle and start your new life. You, this is peace of mind. It's time. It's time for you to be at peace with whatever this situation was. There's been too many hostilities from holding on. Somebody has been suffering for too long, and it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time for peace. It's time for balance to come back. It's time for your new life. So I don't know, I keep repeating myself, but it's time to get unstuck and, st and stop. It is. So I see, see, see somebody that has been grieving over a loss, not realizing that they have another opportunity, or not accepting the new opportunity fully. But I feel like this universe is here to, you know, make somebody realize that this loss was truly a gift. So I don't know what that means, but it's it's hard to be explain. I see that this month is is probably it's probably painful. I think we got a painful separation here. I got to be honest with you, I do. I think that we have a painful separation or a painful acceptance. Could be from a family member. Could be a lover, I don't know. We're going to get you guys two of these. I don't know why. Somebody is breaking free. Whether it's you or the your parents or your family members or something. There's like a split here. There's a goodbye. That's what this is. There's a goodbye. That's what I see. I'm sorry to tell you that. But this change is going to lead you towards victory and success. It's going to lead you to a new destination. It really, really, really is. Where you're going to get more love. Where you're going to be taken care of. This is like God's protection. I just want to keep saying that. I don't know why. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's 
You got somebody new here. You do. This is a new life, a new beginning. It really is. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And there is a soulmate connection coming in. Or we have somebody that is reuniting with their soulmate. Maybe this is the end of a difficult situation. It is the end with those tens. It's the end because I think you have somebody new. I do. I do. This is like a power couple. couple the Empress and the Emperor. We have a, a powerful combination here. Please don't look back. Make sure that you make the wisest choice and block communication with whoever it is that is hindering you. I do think communication is going to be blocked with somebody. It is. Communication is coming to a complete halt with somebody. Could be the person from the past. Because you have a new beginning here. This is a new life with a soulmate of some sort or the or the person you're dealing with somebody has a soulmate connection here in which it's going to leave another person hostile whether it's you or the person you're dealing with somebody is headed right towards their soulmate and somebody's not going to be happy about it whether it's you or the other person Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Focus on the present. Let go of the past. That's what this whole reading is about. You have a new beginning here. Get prepared. Get prepared. Some sort of wish has been granted. Your wish has been granted. Whatever it is. But it's not... It doesn't have to do with the false sense of security. So stop that. That's what's kept somebody stuck. Holding on to the false contract. You got, you have a true blessing here. That's what I got, Libra. Good luck.